I want to. Obviously, we're here to tell people about Islam. Yeah. You know, one thing that's beautiful, Islam is one of the Abrahamic religions. Abrahamic, meaning I believe in Abraham, you believe in Abraham, and Jews believe in Abraham. Okay. That's very interesting because we all kind of have this similarity. In Islam, we also believe in God. Many Christians, they don't know, but we believe in Jesus as well. So we follow one girl, Miriam is a young girl in Brazil, in Brazil, yeah. so she talks a lot. Yeah. And it's really nice to see because she explains it, but she shows that they believe in Jesus, but in a different aspect. Okay. They, they know that Jesus is the Son of God and everything, yeah. more or less, or what I understand. Yeah. But they have a different faith on someone else. Mm. And Mariam, she lives in Brazil? Yeah, she's, she's a Muslim. Yeah. Brazilian Muslim. Yeah, we have quite, quite a lot. On I've it. heard, it's yeah. Beginning to grow a lot. Yeah, but the question is why? Why do you think? Nothing grows unless there's a reason behind it, a meaning behind it. And that's what I want to tell you today. So, of course, we believe in God. We both believe in God. As I said, we also believe in Jesus. And we also believe in Mary. As in Maryam, Arabic Mary, yeah, which yeah. was the mother of Jesus. Yes. So we believe that God is only one. He is the all powerful. He can hear everything. He can see everything. You know, He is perfect. Those were attributes. Your friends have come. <laughs> but if I can grab you for at least two more minutes. But where this, where, where's the difference between Islam and Christianity? Or the main differences is that we believe Jesus was the prophet. We believe that God sent Jesus. Like all the other prophets, like Abraham, like like Noah, like Adam, and all this to teach people. To teach people what? The right way. To teach people why we're living now. And what does that mean? To worship one God alone. Okay? So we don't believe Jesus died on the cross. We believe that he wasn't crucified, and he was a prophet of God, rather he was raised up. Yeah. So what I advise you is, look into Islam, and I want to give you specifically this book, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. All of them we believe are prophets of God. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, all of them we believe. So I want to ask you a question. You believe that Jesus died on the cross? Yes, I do. Okay. The way that I would grow up, listen again, see. Yeah. I want to ask you a question based on that. We know that God is all powerful, He is perfect in every way. And we also agree that God sent prophets, messengers, in order to tell us what he wants from us. Yes. And so therefore, if God is choosing these people, surely they should be the best of people. They're better than me, better than you, better than everyone. No matter what religion they are, the prophets of I have to be the best. Is that not the case? And so if they're the best, then surely they should have been treated them. That is in Islam, we believe that Jesus is one of the main prophets. He's one of the main ones that God loved and sent to the people. So how can he be, you know, crucified and embarrassed in the way he was? How? We believe in the story before that they wanted to crucify him, yes. But because he's such an honorable man, he's the son of Mary. God saved him. He pulled him up just before they were going to crucify him. He saved him. And he will come back down later on. Before the end of times. Yeah, yeah. That makes more sense logically. It makes more sense logically. And if you look at the text, the Quran was preserved like no other book. The only preserved book we have today in regards to religious books is the Quran. The Bible has been changed, you know. The, the, the Torah has been changed. Everything has been changed. And so logically we know that Jesus didn't die on the cross. And also from the text, if we say that the Quran hasn't been changed, I memorize the Quran. I know it's off by heart. In Arabic and in English. And I can tell you, this has not been changed. In the Quran, it says that Jesus did not die. Logically, via the text, proving that the Quran is from God. What other proof can there be? There's many others, but you understand what I'm saying? How would you feel now? How do you feel? Faith is not something that you're going to change having one conversation with another. Beautiful. Beautiful. I know that's not something that I will change in my mind now, but yes, I can learn about it and I can see how it is. Yeah. Because I'm the kind of human that I see, uh, to believe I need to see, or I need to be a strong faith. 
I have a strong case of DC3 right now. So the name, sorry? The, the, the answer that to die in the cross so yeah. is something that to rebuild again. I yeah. need to see two of them mm. because the face that is like really on me. Yeah. So, I 100% agree. With you. You're right, and that's wise words. You know, you're not going to go into anything unless you're 100% sure. And that's why, as Muslims, we believe in one verse in the Quran: is "La ikrahu bidin." There's no compulsion in religion. I can't come to you. What was your name, sorry? Mateus. I can't come to you, Mateus, and say you have to be Muslim. So what I'm going to do? I hopefully I planted the seed, and that seed will grow. And I'll give you a last advice because they're all waiting. Um, I'll say to you. We both believe in God. Call upon God alone. No one else. Call upon Him. No Jesus, no Prophet Muhammad, no one. Say, Oh God, sincerely from the bottom of your heart, guide me to the truth. Guide me, don't say, Guide me to Islam, guide me to Christianity. Do, no, guide me to the truth. That's why we're living. Huh? We want to know the truth and follow it. So, hopefully, I've answered that to you. Yeah, and make, make that prayer. God guide us to truth. So I'm going to give you uh, what the Bible says about Muhammad. Beautiful. Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, and Quran. The big questions. And this is this is very special because this is the Quran in English. I appreciate this. Yeah. But I'm going out. I'm no sure problem. that I will not arrive with things at all. You will. <laughs> but I will search. What if you put it in your book? Because in your bag? Feet. Ah, it doesn't fit. Okay, it's either that or you take my number. And any questions you have, you're going to miss it. We know your culture is similar to Colombian and we're very friendly. So I, you either take these or you take my number. I don't care. <laughs> because there I know that I will, I, I will be fair, I will be honest with you. Yeah. I, I'm probably going to lose in the middle of the So yeah. I prefer to don't take it and leave somewhere. Yeah. That's the thing, Brazilian, Colombian, we're very honest people and we trust each other's promise. You say, I promise I'm going to do it, it's okay, I know he's going to come back. So, yeah, look into Islam and when you have questions, even if you want to say hello, how are you? Okay. Uh, 0784 96 722 31. Yeah, just give me uh, Hamza. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, just give me a missed call so I know your number. Fantastic. Okay, it's a pleasure to speak to you, and hopefully we'll be in touch. Thank yeah. you. Have a good day.